All right, so check this out. There's nothing he can do. He's already used his fire extinguisher in the right rear tire. It's a brake chamber that caught him on, right? But the one thing he did do is he disconnected from his trailer. Okay. So, in the event that you have a fire, at least to save the load from the trailer, you have to disconnect. So he did good, but he can't stop the fire. So he's likely gonna have wheel seals on that side. He's likely gonna have to have tires. You gotta stop early, you know what I'm saying? And it could fully engulf the truck. Um, it's getting pretty bad. It might jump to the next set of tires. But uh, maybe this guy's gonna stop. They got another guy running back with a little fire extinguisher trying to fight it. They're one-shot wonders, these fire extinguishers. I thought I'd show this because I happen to be close to the you know, side here at a, a place where we, we park trailers over here. And, um, you know, and don't breathe that stuff in. You'll get, like, chemical pneumonia. He, he might almost get it out with that fire extinguisher. I don't know if it's enough, but I'm like... I'm like five lanes of traffic away from him and couldn't help him if I wanted to. Yeah, it's flaring back up. You see, once the brakes get that hot, I, you know, so hopefully the fire department can come because they got some stuff that works a lot better than what we got. The stuff we have, it's got to be 10 BC or higher, you know, uh, it's, uh, or 15, it's, um, you know, a chemical See, this guy's got this little bitty one shot wonder fire extinguisher he ain't gonna really be able to do much with that but he's, he's like i'll shoot it but you know you can tell it ain't gonna that little thing he handed him ain't gonna do nothing and sorry if this is like all over the place i'll try to hold it here a little bit better but but he did right dropping the trailer but in that situation there's nothing you can do He'll be covered up with the fire department in a minute and they'll, I'm sure, put it out. Because there's a emergency vehicle over there. So just keep it in mind, once you have any kind of smoke, if you have a CB radio, people can tell you what's going on. Keep your CB radio on, drivers. If you got a CB radio on, someone will tell you, hey man, you're smoking from this side, be careful when you stop, it might catch on. And then you drop the trailer, he did that right. But it was so hot by the time he stopped, it's kind of too late. You know. We have to watch for this all the time as drivers. It can happen at any time. So. It is throwing up some smoke signals. And then somebody else come up with another fire extinguisher. You can hit it with a whole bunch of them little bitty ones. He's gonna hit it with another one. He might get lucky, but I mean, it's gonna come back on because it's so hot. Main thing is, on a tire, you gotta go all the way on the back side of it, all the way around it to stop the oxygen. Yeah, it's coming back on, it's flashing back up. He, he won't be able to put that out. But this is what drivers have to watch for. Every single day we run the risk of this happening because brake chambers, when they go bad, they automatically lock up the brakes. And at that point, you have to pull over and you ha you don't have, man, it could be, it could be a mile. It could be two miles. It could be three miles before that thing catches on fire because if your air is trying to have it release the brake chamber, right? And I'll bet $100 that's what that is. It's always what it is. Your truck's trying to produce enough oxygen, I mean air, you know, compressed air, sorry, uh, to release the brake chamber, but the brake chamber's got a hole in it. So it's like blowing up a balloon that's got a hole on the other side. So it's trying, right? So it's dragging. And sometimes they drag completely and they'll catch on quick. Sometimes you know, like I said, they could play possum with you and they could go a while. Well, any kind of smoke from your, from your, man, it's getting hotter now. 
it might it it might catch on the oil in the rear end at that point. It, I think it's burning that oil. It is, it's, sorry, I moved the camera there. Yeah, at least getting hot. I think it caught this other set of tires on at this point. Yeah, I think so. So and now he's got two sets of duels, and his fuel tanks are forward of that. Um, I think we're gonna roll the window up. I'm not waiting on a blast. It's just going. It's just going to catch on. And fuel tanks, a lot of times, they'll let them burn until it burns all the fuel out of them. In case you didn't know that. Oh man, and the wind from the cars is catching on. But now the fire department's out there catching it now. Y'all see the fire department? They got it. That's awesome that they got it. All right, so he's going to need a set of wheel seals, uh, inner and outer, on the passenger side for the front axle and the rear axle he's going to need oil to be changed out in the rear ends he's going to need um four new tires on that side and he's going to need at least one brake chamber and the airlines go into it and if it happens call 911 quick the faster they can get to you don't be scared to call them you won't get in trouble for that kind of stuff it's what you got to do for your job you got to work with the the fire department but they're awesome check them out man i told you that if they get out here quick enough they'll put that stuff out because they got chemical and foam and all kinds of stuff that put stuff out anyways i'm gonna get off this thing i thought i'd show this we're all under the gun on this one it can happen to all of us at any time brake chambers start going out anywhere from 200 to 400 thousand miles and with grass burner exhaust it gets them hot and it makes the pancakes in there leak and all kinds of problems so know that if you're a driver this will happen to you at some point usually it's on a trailer so because usually you can catch your own problems on a tractor pretty quick a lot of times you get lucky and it's when you first start your truck up for a pre-trip and you can't move because it's got a problem leaking air and you can hear them and you can hear the air going through the valves but if you're driving down the road you may not hear what's happening when they start to lock up you know anyways i'm gonna get off this thing i thought i'd show this drop the trailer like he did call the fire department but first you can try to hit it with your one shot wonder that's all i got y'all stay safe i'm out that guy got lucky with that truck but he's still gonna need a tow truck or some serious on the side of the road work no they're gonna tow that anyways y'all stay safe and i'm out peace